Um, Alan Johnson from the Columbus Dispatch, representing the Ohio Legislative Correspondence Association. Uh, the uh, media witnesses arrived at the death house about 10:10 uh, 10, 10 a.m. this morning. Um, the inmate uh, Mark Wiles arrived at 10:17. He looked uh, rather haggard, I would say. Uh, his head was shaved or at least closely cut. He had glasses on, which I don't remember him wearing in his uh, other photos. Um, he was strapped down by a team of five from the Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. Uh, curtain was pulled at 10.18 a.m. and the video came on so that they would be uh, show the IVs being uh, inserted in both his arms. That was our, my experience, a relatively quick process. Seemed to be done in about, uh, let's see, five or six minutes. Uh, they didn't seem to have too much trouble getting the IVs inserted, which is not always the case. So uh, uh, inmate continued to lay on his back, looking straight up. Didn't really uh, appear to have any uh, comments or signs or anything at that point. Um, at 1026, he was strapped down and the IVs were done. And uh, the warden asked if he would like to have a uh, final statement, and he did. He asked to have his glasses taken off because he wanted to read a paper that was held above him, and the glasses were removed. And uh, I don't have all the exact wording on this, but this will be my notes on it so far, and we'll confirm later. Uh, it says, the love and support of my family has sustained and supported me throughout all these years. I love you all. Since this needs to happen to me, I hope my death bring some solace to the Klima family and their loved ones. The state of Ohio should not be killing its citizens. May God bless us all that fall short. Um, the process then continued. His glasses remained off. Um, somewhere in the area of 1030, 1029, he seemed, his head seemed to move a little bit. I could see his uh, chin bobbing, his Adam's apple moved and I could see a very deep breath compress his chest for a while. And then within a couple minutes though, his eyes were closed. And after that, I did not really see much motion at all. Uh, for the next several minutes, 10 minutes basically, until uh, the uh, technician came to check his heart rate, apparently found none, and the time of death was 1042. The only other thing I observed was the, uh, one of the uh, attorneys I believe it was Vicki Wernicke, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, was dabbing at her eyes with a tissue. Um, and the other male attorney, whose name I don't know, I'm sorry, he kept looking over his head at some something that was above the, the frame of the window there. I'm not sure what it was, if it was a camera or a light, but he kept peering at it. I uh, have to check and see what that was. Um, other than that, uh, curtain was closed at 10.41 a.m and the uh, warden announced the time of death at 10.42 a.m. Um, that's about all I have.